Hi everyone, welcome back to Sahab Academy. Today in this 8th video of bonus and right issue chapter, we are going to solve this problem of bonus issue and this is our 8th problem of our series. Okay, And here the main thing about this question is that here ratio is not given exactly. Here they have said that you have to use same ratio. What does that mean? Understand, it's really simple. Here, there are two different classes of equity shares. One is partly paid up and another one is fully paid up. Okay, the question is saying that uh, you have to make bonus call and make the shares fully paid up for this partly paid up class. And then here for these guys who have already fully paid up shares to them, we have to give additional bonus shares, right? So now in what ratio we have to give this bonus share, it's not clear. The question is just saying that you have to do it in the same ratio. What's same ratio? Same ratio means you have to use the same ratio which is used over here. Okay, here we know exactly, right? How much call we are giving for free. So on that basis, we have to do the calculation. It's really simple, it's not difficult, let's see. Okay, let's first read the question and then we'll see how to do that. Okay, let's begin. I'll see here, following items appear in the trial balance of X Limited listed as on 31st March, 2023, all right. So let's see. 80,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each, rupees 7.50 paid up. Okay, so 10 rupees is the face value and the paid up value is 7.5. So 80,000 into 7.5, that's 6 lakh. Okay, fine. And then we have another class of equity shares. See here, 1 lakh 20,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each, 12 lakhs. Okay, fine. And then you have CRR, 2 lakh 60,000, plant revaluation reserve, 20,000. Now understand, can we use revaluation reserve? No, we cannot use this, right? Directly, you know this. And then we have securities premium. Nothing has been said regarding this. Okay, one lakh twenty thousand. Can we use this? Can we use this for bonus? Yes, we can use this for bonus. But you have to understand here we have bonus call as well as issuing fully paid up uh, bonus shares. So whenever the question is silent, first you have to understand this is realized in cash. Okay, and this you can use for what? For issuing fully paid up bonus shares, but not for bonus call okay not for bonus call so you have to understand okay for call you cannot use for issuing fully paid up bonus shares you can use this right and then we have general reserve of course we can use that and then profit and loss balance yes and then see here capital reserve in the bracket they are saying including rupees fifty thousand being profit on sale of machinery yes so the entire amount is one like fifty but how much can we use of this only fifty thousand only fifty thousand is realized in cash the question is telling you exactly only 50,000 has been earned on the profit on sale of machinery. So this is realized in cash. The rest one lakh is not realized in cash. So in this only 50,000 you can use. Is it clear? Only 50,000 you can use. Right. Then see the question is saying the company decided to convert the partly paid up equity shares into fully paid up shares. Right. So these are the partly paid up shares. Right. 6 lakh 80,000 into 7.5. That's 6 lakh. So this we have to convert into fully paid up, right? So 7.5 is paid up value. What's the remaining? 2.5. So 2.5 bonus we have to give over here. Okay, 2.5 rupees bonus per share we have to give over here. And then they're saying, see here, by way of bonus and to issue fully paid up bonus shares to the holders of fully paid up shares. Yeah, first they spoke about this class of equity shares the partly paid up and now they are talking about fully paid up class of equity shares yeah for them we have to give what fully paid up bonus shares to the holders of fully paid up shares in the same ratio they are saying whatever ratio is given to this first class to this partly paid up class the same ratio we have to use over here okay here also we have to give what fully paid up bonus shares fully paid up bonus shares right but in the same ratio so we have to do that calculation i will show you it's really simple don't worry first let's just do the you know journal entries of this uh, bonus call okay so see here you are required to pass the necessary journal entries assuming that there should be minimum reduction in free reserves fine let's do that let's just pass the journal entries see here we have the solution the journal entries so as I said, we have two parts over here. First, we have bonus call and then we have issuing fully paid up bonus shares. And here we have a bit calculation. So first, let's just focus on the bonus call, right? So how are we going to do this? 
See, it's really simple. First, you need to know the sequence in which you have to use the reserves, right? First, you have to use the CRR and then the securities premium and then the capital reserve and then the free reserves. But now we are going to do what? Bonus call. So for bonus call, we cannot use CRR. We cannot use securities premium. We can use capital reserve, which is realized in cash, and then we can use free reserves. Okay, so let's just see the question once again. What can we use from the question over here? Can we use CRR? No, we can't. Can we use revaluation reserve? Of course not. Never, never. We cannot do that. And then securities premium? No. For bonus call, we cannot use securities premium. We have capital reserve, right? Capital reserve of 50,000, which we can use for the bonus call. All right. So we'll use that. And then we will go for free reserve if we need some more. Okay, fine. So you're clear with the sources of bonus. Now, let's just come to the journal entry. See here. First, what you have to do is you have to pass the general entry of uh, due. Okay, you have to make the final call equity share final call account debit 2 lakh to equity share capital account 2 lakh. You all know this. Yeah, simple due entry. Yeah, how did I get 2 lakh? It's really simple. Just see in the question, we have 80,000 shares, partly paid up shares of 7.5 each. So the remaining amount is how much? 2.5. So 80,000 into 2.5, that's equal to 2 lakh. Is it clear? Simple and straightforward. So once you have made the final call, then you have to bring the bonus element, right? So see, you have to take the money from the reserves, right? So see, utilize the reserves, capital reserve account, 50,000 debit, and then general reserve. Yeah, 50,000 is not enough for us. We need two lakh. So 50,000 came from capital reserve. Okay, only 50,000 we had in capital reserve, which was realized in cash. So we took 50,000 from capital reserve and then remaining one lakh 50,000 we took from general reserve. Yeah, there is no sequence. You can take the remaining uh, one lakh 50,000 from general reserve as well as, you know, combination with profit and loss. It doesn't matter. Is it clear? But we have taken it from general reserve because we have enough balance directly in general reserve. See here, we have general reserve of two lakh. So 150 we can easily take out from there, right? So we have debited the reserves and decreased the reserves and we have transferred this money to a dummy account called as bonus to equity shareholders account, which is an equity account. So it's increasing and we are crediting it. Is it clear? Simple and straightforward. After this, what we have to do, we have to close this equity share final call account and close the bonus to equity shareholders account as well. Right. So see here, bonus to equity shareholders account will be debited and it will be cancelled out. Okay. And equity share final call account will also be credited and cancelled out. See, here, it was debited over here. You credited it and cancelled out. So ultimately what happened? Reserves decreased by getting debited and here capital increased by 2 lakh. Right. So this class of uh, equity shares, this partly paid up one has become fully paid up by way of bonus. Is it clear? simple and straightforward three entries and we are done with the bonus call part easy now we have to do the fully paid up bonus issue right so what are the sources for that see here really simple for issuing fully paid up bonus shares we can use crr we can use securities premium realized in cash capital reserve realized in cash and then free reserve this sequence we have to follow okay issuing fully paid up bonus shares fine you're clear with the sources now the calculation is very important part, right? The ratio is not given over here. It's a silent question. They have said, just use the same ratio. Whatever ratio was used over here, use the same ratio. So first let's understand what ratio was used over here. See, we know from this uh, information, from this information that 2.5 call we did for free, isn't it? Yeah, so 2.5 divide by 7.5. That's what you have to do, see here bonus call ratio 2.5 for every 7.5 paid up share isn't it what was the bonus over here bonus element was 2.5 rupees for every 7.5 paid up share isn't it so just take a ratio out of that 2.5 divided by 7.5 the call amount divided by the paid up value okay you will get 0 0.333 or 1 by 3 okay it can also be something else also here it's 2.5, but in some question there will be 4 by 6, you know, 2 by 8, something like that. So just simplify that and you will get a ratio. Then this ratio you will use for issuing fully paid up bonus shares. You see, 0 0.33 means 1 by 3, isn't it? Yeah, so the same ratio will be used for issuing fully paid up bonus shares. One for every three. 
okay just do the calculation now it's really simple see here this class of equity shares now 1 lakh 20 thousand existing shares are there so 1 lakh 20 thousand equity shares into 1 by 3 that's equal to 40 thousand bonus shares yeah one share for every three share one is to three is the ratio so i just use that ratio and i calculated how much bonus shares we are going to issue is it simple it's really simple fine so the bonus value would be how much 40,000 bonus shares into the face value rupees 10 that's equal to 4 lakh yeah that's all there was in this question yeah this is the main thing this calculation you have to understand it's really simple fine so yeah that's that's the ratio that's the number of bonus shares now just pass the entries really simple and straightforward see here utilization of reserves entry what's happening over here just see in the question in the question if you see here we have capital redemption reserve how much money do we need we need 4 lakh isn't it that's the bonus value so 4 lakh of reserves we have to decrease yeah 4 lakh worth of reserves we have to decrease you have to utilize the reserves by 4 lakhs yeah so now from crr capital redemption reserve we can get 2 lakh 60 so just debit and you know take that capital redemption reserve account debit 2 lakh 60 thousand okay and then securities premium we have not touched because we can't use that for bonus call so now we have it one lakh twenty thousand. Yeah, so just take that. Okay, one lakh twenty thousand securities premium one lakh twenty thousand debited. Clear, easy. And then, is it enough? See here, we need four lakh. We have taken two lakh sixty from CRR. Yeah, and then we have taken one lakh twenty from securities premium. So how much more do we need? We need still twenty thousand, right? So twenty thousand will come out of free reserves. Now you have an option either use general reserve or pnl okay so we'll take general reserve fine from general reserve we'll take twenty thousand. so now we have four lakh okay 260 120 plus 20 that's four lakh so you will debit all these reserves and this money will be transferred to this dummy account called as bonus to equity shareholders account four lakh clear easy after this what you have to do you just have to utilize the bonus you have to cancel out the bonus and increase the equity share capital yeah issue the shares see here bonus to equity shareholders account debit you have debited it and cancelled out and then you have to credit the equity share capital account so you know equity capital has increased really simple and straightforward okay so all you had to understand over here was just the ratio yeah what you have to do you just have to use this ratio remember this call amount divided by paid up value you will get the you know the ratio just simplify it you will get the ratio in simpler terms and then you have to use that same ratio with the fully paid up class okay one lakh twenty thousand shares into one by three into forty thousand shares now don't make the mistake like this okay see understand some student what do they think they think that you have to make these shares fully paid up okay and then you have to give you know bonus shares to both the classes of shares no 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 it's not like that read the question properly first they are giving bonus call to the partly paid up ones and then they are giving fully paid up bonus shares only to the existing fully paid up class of equity shares is it clear okay that's what it is okay so it will be one lakh twenty thousand shares into one by three forty thousand shares clear if you have any doubts in this please comment down below or you can always message me on instagram i will try to reply as soon as possible okay so that's all for this video see you in the next video bye